Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And today, um, I was wanting to uh, show you my journal here that I started in for January of 23. And as usual, this is the front pocket of it. But, you know, normally I'll cut the top off with the, um, my Zacto knife and then paint it up. And I paint it up to this lady with a bowl on her hair. Looks like she's got a bunch of ideas in her head. And I took my Diane Reevely letters and put January on here and then this come out of a magazine, but I, I normally do that and I wanted to go ahead and do that before, you know, I waited too long and then before you know it, I've not dated it at all. So, and then, you know, I like to stick uh, tags in there and, you know, these were from the other day, the, um, out of the What Women Want magazine and Somerset magazine. And some of them I did on video, some I did not. And then uh, once I thought about it, I got my antiquarian book out and started pulling images out of it, which, you know, I don't like that I have to cut around them. And I notice some, that a lot of them aren't even sticking to my thing which i might have to go back and glue them down but uh a lot of them i've been uh cutting around them and this one here just keeps continuously popping up i may have to mod podge it down but it's just uh you know i just like to make tags to put in each of my journals to i'm just always making tags but anyway so um you know i've been working out of this book it's a new uh journal but uh you know i started off pulling uh signatures out of it to um so i don't have the 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 heartache of having each time it gets so full that you know i have to bust the spine of it and plus i'm having to work over a hump all the time and i said okay i'll do this one a little differently i'll just pull a bunch of uh, middle signatures out of it and uh, just work from there and then, you know, put those in a notebook. So this one here has been condensed, you know, of about 10 signatures. And uh, so I thought I'd seen something on Pinterest the other day and made me think that uh, maybe I'll just try to do uh, some colorless uh collages in that um i have probably uh six seven baskets over here that i've been putting images in and images in so i've been going through them and trying to condense down what i no longer want but i noticed i've just been getting way too many baskets and too many images to try to keep up with so um i just thought that i would um go through them and i noticed that i had a bunch of black and white images which i like the contrast of black and white images so i thought i wonder if i could do maybe like a colorless uh, book and i started to name this my colorless book and then you know i got thinking after i had uh went through all my images i said wow i have a lot of images but then when i went to start putting them together uh i had a block or whatever i thought well i don't know if i have enough to fill up a book but i'm sure i'll get more magazines as time goes on and, and i'll be filling it up but i thought that i would only use images plus stamps so that's what i did on this one and i did that on this one and some of them still want to come up but I just thought, well, you know, it kind of gets your creative juices going and that you don't have a color to to bounce off of. And, uh, and then, you know, I had broke out my images again, and I thought, well, I want to do this uh, kind of like Tisha Moore thing. And I think we're all kind of obsessed with Tisha Moore. And so I did this little one here, and, you know, it was black and white, and... Then uh, I got to thinking, well, it needs a little bit of purple. And I said, well, heck, I've done messed that up. And, you know, it had the red up here. So I was trying to do that. But then I 
thought about this image here. I thought it would look great over here. But actually, all this goes to this side. But anyway, so that's what I did. And um, I just thought, well, I done messed that whole idea up. But I can still go back from time to time and, uh, you know, just put images in here, black and white, as I get them. And, you know, no real big deal. But, um... And I noticed I had a bunch, I don't know how many Olay um, bottles that I had because I, I keep all these little uh, balls on the side because I just think they add a lot of interest and what have you. But uh, here was another um, picture, black and white picture. And all I did was start it over here with... Uh, the pink and i had added blue in the pink and then um uh, pink in the blue so that's how i got this and you know i'm always using the bright aqua green but when i added the dark pink in it is how i got this but i don't even know if i can even show you the container because I, I used all the rest of the pink up so um pretty much uh got rid of it and, you know, I'm always cutting the bottom off of those. And, um, I think this little saying over here actually come out of, uh, one of the old What Women Create magazines. And I think I've had it up on my board forever, because, like, I have a big board up here in front of me that, Anytime I see an image that I like, I tend to just throw it up there on the board. You know, if I don't exactly want to put it in uh, my magazine. And I was kind of going through my... Um, Diane Reevely collage sheets again, you know, and I happened to see some black and white images in there, so I thought I'd I would pull some of those back out, and well, I don't want to put it there on it. Let's see, do I want it behind it? I think I can go ahead now and put it down since I started. See, this lady was was out of what women want and what women create. You know, it's hard to to keep one concept in mind, I suppose. Especially when all of us are on Pinterest all the time and what have you. And I think I did want to put this head on her. And I had legs, but then I wasn't satisfied. I said, you know, I really don't know if she needs legs, but um, I just like when I see stuff that's really contrasty. So, I don't know that I want to do anything else to this side as of yet. 
I don't know, I may put a border on it or something to that effect. But then I had another collage here that I was playing around with. I can remember how it all goes. I had cut this lady, you know, right here's her face and the other half of it, which, um, let's see. I didn't really want to use her face. I was trying to use her arm, that that was her arm coming out here. And, which I can really go ahead and cut some of that off. I think I'd rather it go like that. See, now it wants to wiggle around on me. I knew it was going to be hard to put down anyway. I kind of a, still am obsessed with Tisha Moore uh, collages like we all are. I don't, I don't know what is it that obsesses all of us about that. Um, you know, it's a fascination of the, that she puts a con conglomerate of, of things and it just seems to go. And we just all like her use of colors and there's no way we can, no way in the world anyone can imitate her colors. I think I will have to find something to go right in here. Darn it, I know something I meant to do before that gets glued down. I so meant to do this. And you'll see why here in a second. really don't want that to go down right there. See if I can put that mushroom right there for a second. And I'm going to put this crocodile alligator, I don't know which, up here. I'll have to cut some of that off up there to top. And why don't that want to stick? It's very slick on the back. And you know this crocodile would ever come from a jewelry ad. And I'm trying to work from the sun and wants to keep going in and out. The crocodile, I don't think it's where I want it to be. After I got onto it for not sticking. Okay. Okay, 
And you know me, I've always got to stick these, you know, little, like I said, these little balls from this Olay ad. And I've got several already cut out over here. And I had cut the little thing right there so I could stick some under it. And it would look like that they were already there. Let's see how good I can do this. Um... Got too much glue on my fingers and everywhere else. That'll be all I'll stick in that one. Come on, son, come back out. Let's see, let me stick this one down since the the corner was out of it. I think I might have to turn my light on. That's a little better. I think this one over here will be too bright. Might put, I think I want to write some words down. I think I may want to put some more, a few more things on here. Let's see. Didn't know if I want to stick these on here. I want to figure out a little saying to put on here and to write it in. First, I let all this glue dry, so um, I think I'll do that. Go ahead and write my saying in here, and uh, we'll be back in a minute. Okay, guys, here we are back, and uh, I went over it with my uh, silver uh, Posca, big po Posca marker this time, and then went around the letters with my Micron number 12, and just wrote something randomly have, having to do with the weighted scales, and I said, life is good until it becomes one big balancing act. Um pulling people in all direction like you're a gumby doll i said all oh, life how wonderful and just wrote that and just hope you guys enjoyed it and if you could give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and as always see you tomorrow